Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time uh, coming into my YouTube channel, I thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. You will also see all my social media uh, on the screen. If you would love to follow me, uh, please do so. In this episode, I'm going to do a nice, cute um, baby shower theme. And the base color is buttercream yellow. Um, we don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but we want to do a baby shower and this is the way to go. I'm going to start with my um, chargers and my plates. Uh, I am using golds as my accents. Uh, you'll see a little bit of gray or silver, but that's not the major part of it. Um, I've got a beautiful buttercream velvet tablecloth and I have my chargers on here, which is a gold rim clear and then I have these modern dinnerware and I'm not going to do the salad on here I'm just going to do the dinnerware and I've got three choices of napkins um, I don't know what I'm going to do how elegant this is already coming out to be. Um, I'm gonna take this gold leaf container that I've already filled it up with a, uh, a wet foam. I'm gonna take my elephant. These are quirky things that I have. Um, these are vintage potteries and they're animals. Um, if you know me very well, I love anything um, old. Um, but I also like modern, so I like to mix both together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as the center, and then I'm gonna do my elephant and my urns and my ducks all the way around. And I'm just gonna fill those in with water. And each of those, look how elegant that's turning out to be. Each of those, let me do the water and champagne glass as well. The tableware. And I'm using those bone ones that I used before because it's got that um, beautiful coloration. I think I got everything. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to go into my votives in here. I'm going to do a collection of them and I'm not paying attention to size I'm just kind of putting them out there and I'm doing it in groupings of of twos and threes I'm going to fill it with water Now I'm gonna get my flowers and I'm gonna do an assortment of different flowers. I'm gonna use daffodils, I'm gonna use hydrangeas, ranunculus. I brought in some spray roses. It's probably easier for me to use a cutter instead of doing a knife and doing it at an angle. I'm gonna do this in the deck. Look how sexy that is. Um, these are daffodils and these are an amazing variety. So what I'm going to do is... Oh my God! So stunning. Like, I just want to be at this table right now just to like enjoy and hear the conversation. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Love, Hyacinth. And I'm gonna probably use like three or four stems, maybe five. I'm gonna tightly cut them. I'm gonna do it in here. And my urn. Look at that. I'm here. And now I'm going to do I can do another hyacinth. There's nothing wrong with repeating it one more time. 
And now I think I'm going to do ranunculus on the other one. We have that, that one more duck left. That's gorgeous. And then now I'm gonna take my hydrangeas. Now you have to be really careful with hydrangeas. Um, I love this coloration because it's gonna make the tablescape full. And what I'm doing is I'm making a big fluffy cloud of yellow hydrangeas. To break the hydrangeas a little. And then after I'm finished with my spay roses, I'm going to go in and do my ranunculus. Look at this buttercreams. Oh, it's just so stunning. Like, with all the candles on, even though it's an afternoon and it's inside a, a ballroom, then candles are great. If this was outdoors, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily use candles. Maybe I, I'll do more floral arrangements, more nuggets of flowers throughout the tablescape. It's shaping up really beautifully. Real beautifully. I would definitely want to be a guest at this table, for sure. And then once I'm done, I'm almost done, I'm gonna put my ranunculus. So sweet. I think I have a couple more stems that I'm gonna use. Let me get rid of this garbage on the table. I am done. Done, done, done. I'm gonna fix the tablescape a little bit. I'm gonna look at the, all the animals that I have. Make sure they're all in a great, and next time I shoot these, I know I made it a little dirty not to do this. I'm trying to do it in a quick manner and I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to take my time so that it looks beautiful. See, I'm letting it breathe a little bit because they're all too close to one another. See? And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna light my candles. I'm lighting the candles on this now. I already judged it the way I wanted. Sometimes it's nice to pre-light your votives. So. It's like a torch, this one, which I love. I have one more left. Actually, two more left. As you can see, how amazing and beautiful this turned out to be. Um, let me put this away so I can actually talk. Actually, I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, look how amazing this turned out. I mean, what better to entertain your guests with so many delicate details, right? Uh, you've got all these antique, like, pottery that all the flowers are in from like garden roses to hyacinth to these beautiful ranunculus, the hydrangeas, the coffee beans, the daffodils. Um, just everything about this table is just gorgeous. Uh, there's so many layers and there's so much elegance all at the same time. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I'm always uh, uh, happy that you're joining me and watching the channel. The comments that I'm getting and the feedback that I'm getting from all of you is completely positive. My whole purpose is to inspire all of you uh, to, these are all things that I do on a whim. I, I think about it, but all these years of experience is what I'm showing you. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And again, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in and peace out guys. Thank you.